Greetings, YouTube. What we have here is a Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5 comparison video. I'm gonna go ahead and full screen mine because I don't know. I can't really see it. That's one reason why. Oh, he's using a Wiimo. What a noob. Oh, well. He said he was gonna use the controller, but I guess he won't use the Wiimo because he he's just not used to it like he is in uh, RE5, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird. He's pretty good at RE5. It's him playing Chris right there. This isn't me playing either one of these. This is uh, my partner, Lil J. Um... So yeah, this is a Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5 comparison video. We're just looking at the graphics here, the differences, the how fast it is, the moves. And he's getting a lot of headshots right now. Let's put this. Ooh, and he just got smacked. Okay. Um. You saw a second ago, Chris Redfield did throw an awesome little grenade there at the start. That's a good good way to do anything. And Sheva just somersaulted that dude. That'd be me playing Sheva. Not that anyone cares. And I really don't have much else to say right now. Except for the fact that I'm loving his new capture card. It's a lot better than mine. I'm going to be getting a new one here soon. I think I'm watching the dab. I'm not really sure. Yet. Something's going to happen. Kick him. That headshot. That Ooh. I don't remember the GameCube version or the PS2 version being those many headshots. If you're looking at the RE4 video just a second ago. Just headshot after headshot. Looking at the RE5 video, we have a bunch of ammo being picked up. Uppercut. Later on, you're going to see Chris get to the point where he is going to... He's about to get destroyed by uh, the big executioner. And right at the last second before that axe is about to chop him in half, uh, Sheva shoots a nice little rifle shot down his back and it, it kills him. So it's, it's pretty hot. You're going to see it here soon. And that would be the executioner. And Resident Evil 4 looks like it's over. Unless he did he add to it? Oh he's yeah, he, okay, he's doing more than more than what he just showed us. Okay. Oh. Of course you can't see Shepard right now. She's that, I was uh, in the middle of trying to run from the next. There we are. I almost get killed hit by a grenade here in just a second. Watching. I think I get away from it at the very last second. I can't remember though. I was messing around in this video. Yep, right there. See that grenade? Just missed me. Good stuff though. I don't know what the execution is aiming at. I'm way down there and Chris is over there. At this point, though, I am trying to shoot the executioner with my rifle down on the left, but I'm not having much luck. Looking at the RE4 video, you see Leon getting blown up. Lil J getting blown up by a grenade there. Oh! And looking at Chris. Chris is in not great shape here. He just caught himself on fire. see me down the line there. Well, you can't really see me. Not, not that much, but here in just a second, Chris is going to get seriously saved. Looking at Leon's video, or rather Resident Evil 4, we are seeing a whole bunch of people get sniped. So far, there's definitely a slight graphical difference. I'm not seeing too huge of a difference, to be perfectly honest. That's just my perspective. I'm not really a graphic core, though. I mean, you see some people, they go up like, I'm seeing some people look at Killzone 2, and they are literally trying to, okay hold on hold on, on. Resident Evil 5 there it is right there he almost got swung at okay now what I was saying was people talking about Killzone 2 uh, people will get up close to a wall in the demo and they say it has repeating textures I just don't I don't understand why people do stuff like that I mean I understand there are graphic cores out there but that's like a graphic fanboy I mean that's just straight up illogical to do in, in my honest opinion so uh, other than that though not much else I'm on Skype with Lil J here. He's in the background, but it's probably here you just kind of coughing and talking. And I, 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 I mute my microphone whenever I record that way other people can't hear me. And Chris is about to die. What happened right here? I don't remember. Okay. I know we didn't lose, but I don't remember if I resuscitated him or what. 
We kept trying to do a special move and we kept failing miserably. I mean, it's hard to do a special move in this mission when there's so many enemies around at one, like, you know, at each time. It's really hard. So, we tried our best. We've done plenty of special moves in that other mission, but this one, it's just it's too hard. Looking at Resident Evil 4, we see Leon almost getting killed. Or not killed, getting blown up. He shoots the guy right through him. That's good stuff. It's always fun to shoot them when they're throwing the grenade, and then it just kind of blows up in their hand and, you know, destroys everyone around them. That's always so much fun. That's just my opinion, though. Know, I, I just love doing that. Resident Evil 4, I played the crap out of that game. Well, maybe a little too much, actually. That, I beat it like four times straight. I did like a TMP run where, you know, because that TMP ammo runs out so fast later on. You gotta, you gotta really hold on to it. I, I had like, I don't know, maybe 2,000 bullets or so when I started my new game, and by the time I got halfway through the game, or I guess to those two El Gigantes, if you guys remember, the, uh, I had only had like 200 bullets left, so, I mean, that ammo just goes so quick. But it is really good, and Leon just got blown up again. Looking at the Resident Evil 5 video, we are still trying to do that special move, but we are not, not very successful. We almost had one of them at one point, but we couldn't get our, we couldn't get our kicks and our hits straight. We, like, we would we would shoot him in the shoulder like you're supposed to, and I would, and, we, and then we would both go up and knee him and twist him at the same time, and that would just ruin it all completely. And there we have the end of the video. YouTube, I will see you soon.